Railways on Sodor have a diverse range of engines, from steam, diesel, large, and small. Despite what some engines will claim, the Fat Controller welcomes all types on his railway, but one engine was going to put him to the test. Oh, come on. Where is that little blue bonehead? That little blue bonehead is right here. <laughs> Where have you been, Thomas? You're almost late. How can one be almost late? Wouldn't that mean you'd be on time? Either you arrive on schedule or you don't. But anyway, I've heard some very strange rumors going around about a new engine. <laughs> new engine, eh? Why would rumours of that be strange? We get new engines all the time. Yeah, because apparently this engine itself is strange. I overheard that this engine has some sort of, uh, arm thing. What? Arm? <laughs> like a crane? Engines don't have arms. Get out of my way, you blue puffball! I've got shit to do here! What the bloody hell was that? That was probably the engine I was just talking about. My goodness! We've had a few bad diesels on this island, but that thing is just downright terrifying! <laughs> bah! Really useful engines have to be brave, Thomas. But then again, I would like to keep away from that thing. Look out, you big green pig! Pinchy's hungry for some green eggs and ham. Ugh. Jesus Christ! What's this? A toy train set? I can pick you up and throw you around! What? Already? He's not supposed to come until tomorrow. Oh, botheration. I'd better go tell the engines. That was one of the most frightening things I've ever seen. He blew smut all over my blue paint. My paint was ruined just from being in proximity. He had what I can only describe as, well, a weapon on top of him. What would make the Fat Controller bring such a, well, thing to this island? That thing is an engine who was donated to me. He is on trial, and yes, I know all about his, well, less than stellar introduction. I have lots of questions, but first of all, who is he? What is his name? Well, that's the thing. He has no name, but his number is 10, so most just call him Diesel 10. <laughs> More like 10 out of 10 for brute strength. Yeah, but zero out of ten for looks. And intelligence. What are you going to do with him, sir? Are you going to keep him? Well, I'll give him a fair chance. But I'll keep a close watch on him. Ah, uh, this is more like it. Scrap galore. Excuse me! That's my train. It's going to be melted down. Perfect. I like you already. Melting down steamers to what they dissolve. Those aren't from steam engines. They're from a diesel. A Class 42 warship, I believe. What? But I... But joking, you stupid brute. These are just from old trucks. Who are you, by the way? I am Diesel 10. 10 out of 10 for brute strength. 
so don't try any games with me, you bumblebees. Yeah, nice introduction. But would you mind moving that toy out of our way and go find your own scrap to screw around with? Uh, you're both class 08s, aren't you? Little fellows, huh? Consider yourselves lucky. I've seen many of your type in the scrap heap. <laughs> but you're both on an island that puts priority on engines from before World War I. It's like we diesels are old-fashioned, but not historic enough to be worth preserving. <laughs> Stupid moron. I know, Phil, but he's got quite a spiteful attitude. I don't know what I would do with him. He's bound to be a nuisance. Look, I appreciate the gift, but I may have to send him away, or at least remove that claw of his. He may have been useful on your line, because I assume he was the only engine there, and he just scooped up things. I'll have to see. Well, hello. Say one last goodbye to your brother, or what's left of him in these trucks? <laughs> Actually, he's right here, you twit. And I'm not going to the scrap heap anytime soon. I escaped it years ago. Escaped? How? What is it to you? You trying to do the same thing? <laughs> Maybe so I can report to the scrapyard where their fugitive is. You'll have to do that for a lot of engines here. Not just steam, but diesel as well. Sodor is a sanctuary, if you haven't noticed. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take one of your kind to be melted down at the ironworks. There's no engine in that, Lord. It's from an old ship. And any rusty engine you see here has been shipped from the mainland and has long since deceased. We don't scrap live Sodor locomotives here anymore. Or at least not yet. <laughs> you may be the first. Diesel 10 had already moved away. He delivered the scrap metal to the smelters and went to find a shed. He's useless now. Send him to the scrapyard. Next day, dark clouds rolled in. It's looking quite bad. I expect there will be lots of fallen trees and debris. We must keep the cranes ready. Is your dome secured, Gordon? <laughs> the wind would have to push me and my train off the viaduct before it could blow my dome off again. Oh no. What's the matter? Scared of a little bad weather? Typical puffball. But secretly, Diesel 10 was nervous himself. Storms brought back bad memories for him. Rain began that afternoon. Slow down! No, please, I didn't mean to. Mean to do what? Who are you talking to? Huh? Oh, uh, I, um, just nothing. I was just, uh, nothing. I must have been sleep talking. Oh, great. Is anyone gonna move that? Like who? You? Um, fine. I guess Pinchy could do something to keep busy during this storm. Huh. I was only joking. He lifted one tree. Only about 2,000 to go after this storm. <laughs> like that one up there? Well, I guess the rain's slowing down. If there's no scrap to crunch, then Pinchy could go vegetarian for once. I'm just tired of sitting around. It was only a temporary letter. Further down the line, the wind and the rain was becoming stronger. The passenger trains were still running, and Gordon left with the express. It was quite a challenge to travel through the storm. Yeah, 
awful puff pool. Can't you see I'm clearing shit from this railway? That's not good. Do you think we should clear that? Hell no! Pinchy picks up debris, not rocks! Oh, fine! Up the viaduct. Push it. Here we go. Well, I've done enough cleaning for today. You're welcome. Next time, I should just let you tumble off the viaduct like I did. You mean, that diesel saved your life? Yes. Probably not willingly, but had I hit those rocks or tree, I would have gone off the viaduct. You know, I saw him clearing up branches off the line during the storm. Probably the only non-scrap thing he's good at. He's a brute, no question, but maybe deep down he still wants to be useful? He seemed very disturbed about the storm. Maybe he had some sort of bad memory that snapped him into action. Perhaps, but that still doesn't change my opinion of him. It appears you may have some use here. What you did not only saved one of my engines, but was also quite beneficial to my railway, the way you picked up all that debris. You seem to have a knack for scooping up things off the track. Well, I suppose. You also seem to have a fondness for scrap. Yes! Point it down! Crush it! <laughs> Uh, well, I guess you could say that. I'll make you a jail. If you can be useful clearing things off the track, then I suppose you can hang out at the scrapyard with Ari and Bert. Uh, well, I guess that's a reasonable offer. But you will be under my command. That means good behavior and not terrorizing other engines. Understood? Fine. But I have one request that Boggiston also honored. What's that? Keep my history out of the public. Uh, the only history I was told about you, aside from your modifications, was your rescue from scrap after what Boggiston referred to as the Magic Railroad Incident. Do not mention that to anyone else! That's past stuff and should stay in the past. Uh, very well. I don't even know what he was talking about, but if you prove yourself useful, I shall keep it dark. You know, 
I think I might know a bit about this diesel's history. What's that? Have you ever heard of a preservation line on the mainland that's often nicknamed the Magic Railroad? Why, yes. It runs through a forest, I believe. Not very long, but I remember Stepney talking about it. I've heard it's run by a purple and gold engine. You don't mean to say Diesel 10 came from there? I think he worked on a line near there. One rainy day, he got into some spat with the steam engine and chased it. viaduct and was sent for scrap. He was rescued, of course, but that would explain a lot. You know, that might explain why he saved Gordon on the viaduct. It seems to me that he was angry that steam engines were being preserved over him, which probably triggered whatever conflict he had with that engine. That still doesn't explain his claw, though. How do you know all this? I overheard it from Harry and Bert. They must have overheard it from the mainland or something. Well, I'll take that with a grain of salt, but I guess it sounds logical. I just hope the Fat Controller keeps him in order. 